In this episode, I'll tell you why I switched from a DSLR to a rangefinder. Adorama TV presents Exploring Photography with Mark Wallace. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV, brought to you by Adorama. It's the camera store that has everything for photographers like you and me. Check them out at adorama.com. Well, if you've been following me on Facebook, you know that I'm super excited about my new Leica M Type 240 camera, and a lot of people have been asking me why that I switched from my 5D Mark III, which is this guy, to my new Leica M Type 240. Well, you can see size is a big difference, but there's a lot more to it than just how big these cameras are. There's weight and security and the systems that each of these have. And so I wanna go through all of that with you today to tell you why I made the jump from this to this, because this isn't necessarily better than this camera. It's just a different tool. And I really wanna explain that to you. You know, if you're a gardener, you would choose the right tool, a shovel to dig dirt and a pick to make that dirt loose, or I'm not a gardener, I don't know what tools are, but you want a tool that matches the thing that you're trying to do. I'm a traveling photographer. You can see here I'm in Buenos Aires. It's an amazing city here in South America. I've been traveling for about eight months, and the tool that I had, this 5D Mark III, just, well, it was a great tool. It just wasn't right for the trick. So I wanna go into the details about why I chose this, but before we do, I wanna tell you about amazing contests that Adorama has. You can enter and win some great prizes, so click the link and enter today. Well, when I was looking at a new tool to use, a new camera system to use on my travels, I was really concerned about three things, size and weight and security. We'll get to security here in a little bit, but security has to do with not having your stuff ripped off or being mugged. And so the Leica is good at helping you not get mugged. But let's first talk about size and weight. Now, what you don't normally see are these bags that everything has to fit in everything that we take, I'm traveling with my friend Lex, and everything that we take around the world has to fit in our backpack and a carry-on bag. Not just our camera gear, but everything that supports that camera gear. For example, our laptop computer, our chargers, our card readers, the tripods that hold the video camera that you don't even see right now, so the video camera has to go in there, our wireless audio system, everything has to fit in these two bags. Now this bag right here is my normal backpack. It is the, what I like to call the, you can steal this bag. Now don't steal this bag, but this is the bag that uh, if I wanna lose, it's gonna be this one. I don't wanna have anything of value in this. No passport, no money, no cameras. This bag is pretty darn heavy. It weighs about 35 to 40 pounds. It's pretty heavy, 40 pounds right here. And then all the camera gear, hard drives, laptop, passport, money, camera gear, all that stuff is in this bag. This is the don't steal me bag. I don't want anybody to steal this. This bag normally weighs uh, 25 pounds. And so I'm not gonna bump my microphone, but usually I carry that on the front here and we're zipping through airports and on buses, we're doing about like that. So we've got about 65 pounds strapped to our bodies. Now that might not seem like a lot, it seems like a lot to me, but when you're running trying to catch a bus or a cab, going in and out of cities, um, hopping on trains and stuff, it gets to be too much. And so after eight months on the road, we've decided we gotta shed 10 to 15 pounds each in our bags. And so I really need to conserve space and I need to conserve weight. All right, size and weight, let's go through it. So on sort of this side of the table is all of my Canon stuff and the audio gear that I'm replacing. And on this side of the table-ish is the new Leica system and the audio gear that's replacing it. So first let's talk about the audio gear because audio is something that you don't really ever see in videos, but we have to have it to do the voiceovers, the intros, you know, in this episode, we're getting all that stuff, um, any kind of screen capture stuff. I have to have audio stuff. So I've been using this, this is a Zoom H4n handy recorder. I love this guy right here. It's one of my favorite things, but it is pretty big and it weighs about a pound, something like that. It not only does uh, recording, but also serves as an audio interface if you're doing screen capture. So I can plug a microphone into this and then this into the computer. So that's how we get that good, clean sound. Well, I'm replacing that with the Zoom, same brand, H1. And it's actually in my pocket right here. So there it is. I'm recording straight to that. So we're eliminating now wireless microphones. And so that will allow us to shave the weight of the wireless mics, which are the Sennheiser. These are G2 Evolution. Now G3 Evolution is what you would get. And then all the audio stuff that goes with that. So all that stuff right there uh, is uh, going away to be replaced by this. So that's what's in my pocket, but this is the case for it. So you can see it's a much smaller unit. 
Now, the, uh, let's look at the camera bodies themselves. This is the 5D Mark III with a 24 to 70 lens. This is my primary everyday shooting lens. I'm replacing that now with the Leica M Type 240 with 50 millimeter lens prime. And so you can see that these are significantly different in size. So the Leica is much, much smaller and it's a lot lighter as well. And that will also impact uh, the security, which we'll talk about later on in this video. So that is going from this to this. And then I've got two lenses that I use. I have my wide angle zoom lens. This is a 20, uh, I mean a 16 to 35 millimeter uh, zoom lens. I'm replacing that with this guy. This is a 21 millimeter prime lens. And you can see that those are just significantly different. Uh, and this is a 3.4, this is a 2.8, but this is a fantastic wide angle lens. In fact, this is regarded as one of the best wide angle lenses ever made in the history of photography. So that's pretty spectacular. You can see that's a much, much smaller lens there. And then last, I have my uh, lens that I use in a lot of workshops and for doing compression kind of uh, stuff and portraits. This is a 70 to 200 millimeter lens. I've been talking about this lens for years. I love this lens. I'm replacing that with a prime lens. And so um, instead of a 70 to 200, now I'm just using this. This is a 135 millimeter prime lens. And again, you can see the differences in size are significant. Um, the other thing I'm replacing, I've been using a rapid strap right here. Well, I'm not using that anymore. I'm just using the strap that comes with the camera. Actually, I've got a leather strap that I'm gonna be adding to that. Um, and then also this case uh, is what the 70 to 200 normally goes in. So I throw that into the larger bag. The, you can steal this bag, Shh, don't tell anybody, but I've been carrying this bag and the checked luggage because this is too big for the camera bag, too heavy. So this case is going to be going away. And then also my intervalometer, I don't need that anymore with my Leica. Um, and then this extra cable for the audio. So all of that stuff is going away. The camera charger, you can see those are about the same size. And so this is a little bit smaller, but that's going away. And then my filters, I'll be replacing these as well. So you can see that there's a huge difference. Now the size difference you can see is a pretty significant size difference. This is much smaller than this. And so that's gonna save a lot of uh, space in my carry-on bag. And that means I can add more potato chips and I can add a raincoat and I can do all that stuff and put it in my bag that I haven't been able to do before. And that's a big deal if you're, uh, if you're traveling. You need space in your carry-on bag uh, just to throw snacks and things like that. So that's gonna be a huge win. And then the difference in weight. I've got a scale and I actually weighed these and I am saving about seven and a half, almost eight pounds by going to the Leica. Now eight pounds doesn't seem like a lot of weight but it's about two two liter bottles of water. So carry around two uh, two liter bottles of water all day, and you know it's a lot of weight. So or a sandbag. It's about like carrying a sandbag. Get rid of getting rid of that. So it's a significant amount of weight and space. But that's not the thing that really put me over the edge. Putting me over the edge was not only the size, the weight, the image quality and also the security. And so we're gonna talk about security by zipping down on the streets of Buenos Aires. And I wanna show you the difference between shooting with a camera that's this size compared to a camera that's this size. Well, this Canon camera screams, hey, I am a tourist. It says, please come and mug me because I don't belong here and probably I won't be able to get this stuff back because you run faster than me. <laughs> in fact, I've had a bunch of people from all over the world in different cities who have seen where I am in their city and they send me messages or emails saying, hey, Mark, don't take your big Canon camera out because if you do, somebody's gonna mug you, somebody's gonna steal that. And I've actually seen videos of photographers being held at gunpoint in cities around the world. And so this big camera, I just, because of that concern and because it gathers so much attention, I have been keeping this in my bag too much. And so I have missed a lot of shots due to NCIH. That means no camera in hand. And when I really need to shoot, I need a high quality camera. Now I had a Fujifilm, I have a Fujifilm X10, but it just doesn't hold up to the quality of a 5D Mark III. So I needed a really small camera that I could shoot with that isn't gonna gather a lot of attention and get me mugged. I don't wanna be mugged, I don't wanna be beat up. So that's where the Leica really comes in because it is comparable or higher quality than a 5D Mark III or any of the other cameras of that caliber. It is a $10,000 high quality professional camera. Perfect for portrait photography, street photography, 
photojournalism, travel photography, you name it. And because it's so small, people really don't notice that you're using it. So I've been able to go and shoot in subways and out and about on the streets, through uh, windows, do all kinds of stuff, even late at night. And nobody really notices that I have this camera. It just doesn't demand the same kind of attention that this big beast does. So it's a little bit more secure, and that means I have a camera in my hand. That translates into more photos. More photos translates into more stock that I can sell, more photos that I can use in videos. That means more money. And more money means I'm gonna make more money with this camera than I am with this camera because I'm not using this camera. It's an unused asset. And so this is the right tool for me. But there's more to this camera than just size and weight and security and shooting a lot. It's a rangefinder camera. And rangefinder cameras are perfect for decisive moments because you're not looking through the lens, you're looking through a rangefinder so you can see things before they even enter the uh, field of view. And when you take a picture, there's no mirror that blocks what you see. And so there's a lot of stuff that a rangefinder is perfect for. It's extremely fast, extremely clear, and extremely high quality. Now we don't have time to go into all the wonders of rangefinder cameras. I'm gonna cover that in future episodes. But if you go to the Adorama Learning Center, you can read a lot of stuff that at Mason Resnick has written. Mason is a spectacular photographer, specifically with the Leicas, and he's written a bunch of articles on uh, using a Leica and using rangefinders and street tests and all kinds of stuff. So zip over there, it's absolutely free. And I don't want you to miss out on all the future episodes that we have about shooting in manual mode and zone focusing and all kinds of things that we're gonna be doing with this rangefinder. So subscribe, it's absolutely free. Just click the button, subscribe today, and you won't miss a single episode. Thanks again for joining me, and I will see you again next time. great looking prints at low cost, be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.